Hello, my name is Gareth Patterson. I'm a junior at Blair Academy. Oh, shoot. Now we're Sorry. <laughs> I love astronomy. Ever since I was six, I used to look up at the stars and see greatness. And well, that also is when I watch Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Star Wars is absolutely amazing. And now that I'm older, 10 years from when I was six years old, and it's dreaming of Star Wars, I know it could be real. I mean, not here, right now, but maybe in the past, the present, somewhere, somewhere else in a galaxy far, far away, or in the future, that could be us. I don't know. See, NASA is a great program. The things that NASA has done for us are incredible. One of the best things that NASA has done for us is get us to the moon. In 1969, we stood on this, the moon, a distance of approximately 384 kilometers away. And we were able to send three people there. Two of them stood on it, the first being Neil Armstrong, the second being Buzz Aldrin. And Michael Collins, who actually didn't step foot on the moon, was there with them. It took four days to travel the distance from Earth to the moon. So that is no minor feat. But there's more to this. For thousands of years, we've looked up to the sky. We've seen this. To some cultures, it was a god. We stood on a god. We've also done some other things. This is the most expensive things humans have ever made, costing about $150 billion. So you know, pocket change. <laughs> it's incredible. Hundreds of experiments have been done on this, and it's jointly run by NASA, Russia, Japan, Canada, and Europe. On this screen is not the actual Voyager probes. There were two of them. The first one, only made it to Saturn and Jupiter, and the second one went to Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus. Funny. <laughs> but you see, I didn't show the actual probe because it's the inside that matters. This is, as Carl Sagan put it, like a bottle in the ocean. On this golden record are greetings from over 20 different languages and hours of songs and of voices, natural and human. It's like a bottle because it's in an ocean because it's kind of like saying we were here. We mattered. And wherever we might be in the future, this will be out there. So we could make it super far as a civilization, or we could not. And this is like a remnant of us. The Mars rover, also named Curiosity, which landed on Mars in 2012. It was f launched in 2011, so it took a long time to get there. It actually sings itself happy birthday because it doesn't have many friends. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> More on Mars, though. What about colonizing Mars? Could Mars be the future? I don't know. NASA has already announced that we're going to Mars. It's official. We're sending people to Mars, just like we sent people to the moon. It may take us 10 years, like it took us 10 years to get to the moon. It may not. It may take us 100. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Anything could be possible. What if we did get to Mars, though? Let's say 10 years from now. How different would it be? Well, gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. And gravity on Mars is 3.711 meters per second squared. So that would mean you can jump a lot higher, which is nice, but that also increases bone decay as you get older. So you'd have to work out a lot more to counteract the gravity. What else, though? Where would we live? What would we eat? Well, houses could be 3D printed, possibly. They might have to be dropped off from 
like a pod and landed and be built like that. But 3D printing is an option. And food? Well, Martian soil is actually a lot like Earth soil. So it is plausible that we can grow food on Mars. And water? We have to use something called the osmosis process, which recycles water in a quite weird way. Now, this speech might seem like it's just about NASA. But if you look up on the screen, you'll see one of the most stunning pictures I've ever seen. In my opinion, one of the most important pictures. Inside that little circle is Earth, the pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan put it. Everything you've ever known, loved, seen, hugged, kissed, has been on that dot, that pale blue light. I don't know where we'll be in a thousand years from now. I don't know where we'll be in a hundred years from now. Possibly on Mars, maybe still on Earth. But with NASA making progress each day, it's possible for us to become an intergalactic species at one point, or it's possible for us to not. But wherever we may, NASA may take us, we all have started here at this pale blue light. Thank you.